Hello, Facebook Live. Marcus here. Hello, Instagram. However, you, however you're tuning in. Hello, hello. It is 4:15 on Monday. Um, here's Jamie. We're getting the garden set up. Um, if you're on my Facebook Live earlier today, you know that I had a three o'clock meeting, which is still lingering. My three o'clock meeting. Um, we are in the garden, Jamie and I. Jamie just got up to start setting up some of the tables for tonight's wine dinner. So we're doing a wine wine in the garden tonight. Five wines, um, one dish, $25. It's a pasta and shrimp dish. It's five wines. It's a great deal. Um, do we have any more room, Jamie? Did we sell out? It's pretty much pretty much at that cap, right? You're pretty much there. So these dishes, these uh, events sell out really quickly. Um, we had a couple more seats left, and as soon as we sent the email out, people started calling like crazy. So, um, out in the garden right now, I am here working. Um, we have our one of our favorite wine reps here visiting us today, and this is a focus group on Sicilian wine, all Sicilian wine here. Uh, those are the reds. Some really, really cool stuff here. Uh, Caruso and Manini a vineyard on the very, very west coast of Sicily. Uh, two families, Caruso and Menini. I think it's about an 80-year-old vineyard. Uh, we've had their wine before, and we're getting more of their wine back in stock. The husbands make this label. The wives make this label. Everything here is organic and biodynamic. These are actually labeled for organic and biodynamic, uh, the Nacho Mente line. So the women make that, the wives make that, the husbands make that. Uh, really, really cool stuff. Uh, everything here was a, is a great value. Uh, we're bringing some of the stuff in very soon. But these, the, everything we're tasting here are vineyards that we're going to be visiting in Sicily. So um, that's what this is all about, just research development and uh, travel research. Uh, Gracci, Alberto Gracci. This is a really amazing producer in Mount Etna. And he's the uh, head of the coalition there. Uh, for Etna Wines, and he petitioned the government and was able to basically get some quote-unquote crew vineyards set up in, which means um, it's like the French system of Burgundy Crews, where there's certain plots of land that are producing very, very, very high-quality wines in Mount Etna. Uh, so he is uh, the one, the force behind that. Um, Tasca, Tasca, the people who make the clothing. This is their family vineyard. Uh, this Syrah is dynamite. We're bringing this in. This will be available for probably 25 bucks on our list, maybe 30 bucks on our list. Um, really just an all around uh, amazing Syrah from Sicily. This vineyard here, <coughs> they are from the island of Laparia. All right, Laparia is north of Marcella. Marcella being, um, Marcella being north of Mount Etna, towards um, towards Calabria, so it's towards the mainland, and they're on an island. And actually, they are the only winery on this island in Laparia, which makes it even that much cooler. Let me see if I can show you on the map where this is. Let's see. Where's my computer there? All right. This is your Facebook Live today, Jamie. Jamie's not doing a Facebook Live today. So, all right, so here we go. This is the West Coast. A lot of wineries are on the West Coast. Palermo, Italy, uh, Sicily, uh, major airport, the biggest airport in Sicily. All the vineyards on the West Coast. That, so every point of these waypoints here, these, these points are wineries that we're going to, places we're going to. This is our olive oil producer, Arke, uh, the Arke family. Five family members that are making amazing olive oil in Central Italy. They're the ones who pack our lemon oil for us. So Palermo, uh, the wineries, Mount Etna right here, the island of Laparia right there, okay? So the island of Laparia, one winery, one island, nobody else makes wine on that island, and that's them. And we are going to try our hardest to work them into our Sicily trip. Uh, our Sicily trip is going to be happening in November 2021 uh, is our plan for that. Uh, hopefully we're all COVID free and we can launch our April trip in April, 2021, which is just about sold out. It really is sold out. Um, 
It is sold out. We are at that point where we were at that point with our last uh, trip a year ago uh, to um, to Tuscany, to Central Italy. And what happens is when one couple books, then all of a sudden they'll call a few months later after they're paid and say, well, another couple wants to join us. And then another person wants to join us. Another couple wants to join us. So what happens is you you start out with 20 on a sold out trip, 22 on a sold out trip, and you end up going to 25, 26, 27 people. So I'm assuming that's what's gonna be happening again on this trip. Uh, there, we have a large calling for Apulia, uh, which is to heal the boot. Uh, that's where my family's from, by the way. My grandmother, my grandparents came from Fasano, from uh, Bari, uh, in the late 20s, 1929, I believe they came here. Um, so that's where my family is originally from, uh, from that part of Italy, and that's where the next trip is. Although we do all over Italy. We've gone to Milan, we've gone to Verona, we've gone through Piemonte, Valpolicella, we've gone in um, through... Uh, Bologna, we've done all, par all parts of Italy, Abruzzo, um, La Marche, we've gone all, Jamie and I have gone through all through of Italy, and we are lining up all kinds of excursions through all parts of Italy that Jamie and I know personally. Sicily is one of the only parts of Italy, that one of the only territories that Jamie and I have not been to. Sicily and Calabria are the two that we're missing, uh, other than that we've been all over Italy. So when we go to our Apulian trip, this uh, next spring, Jamie and I go a week early and we go all through Sicily and we basically check out all of these wineries, all these wineries, all these places and make sure that they have tasting rooms. We go to hotels, we scout everything out and make sure everything's drivable because this part of the country, uh, the west coast of Mount Etna is a four hour drive. So as we're mapping it now, we go down the coast we need to find some kind of hotel or something sort of on the coast, great water frontage uh, or inland at a nice um, uh, medieval medieval village. And then we go to our olive oil producer and figure out how we how we make our point across. So um, it's a lot of work planning these trips, like a ton of work planning these trips. And they all have to plan around the wines that we actually buy and have in the restaurant. So we want to take you to wineries that we actually know and that we know their wines. We have a relationship. And these are all independently family-owned properties. Um, some Now, I messaged Arke today. I spoke to one of the family members today from Arke, from our olive oil producer. And they're like, Marcus, we, um, we're in the process of building a new facility, a new tasting room, you know, new... We don't have it ready yet. Um, I said, don't worry about that. Uh, don't worry about that at all. Our guests are totally understanding and we're not coming for another over a year. But Jamie and I will be there in the spring checking things out, shaking hands, doing all that kind of stuff. So that's the situation with that. Um, all right, folks, um, I have to get ready to jump in the kitchen and make tonight's dinner. It's one dish. It's uh, local, <coughs> local rigatoni uh, with uh, a shrimp uh, shrimp and these cherry tomatoes that come from Campania that are amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, Joey's coming back with a new wine. A new wine? A new wine that's not cherry in the huh? A new wine? New feature? A new wine? A new feature? So Joey's coming back to us with one more wine right now that they're not officially listed until October. What happens with a lot of the wine vendors in New York State is it goes month by month and they have to bring in new wines and post it with New York State. Same thing with liquor. They have to post it with the state, get the label approved, get everything approved, and then um, be able to launch it at the beginning of the month. A lot of times the distributors have samples way before the beginning of the month, and they can start tasting and building up the excitement of that wine coming in. So that's what we're doing now. We're gonna taste a new wine. So a lot of people are on. Folks, thanks for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Jamie's not doing her happy hour live today. Uh, today is an off day for that. We are in the garden tasting a bunch of Sicilian wines, planning out our Sicilian wine trip. Those are just the reds we tasted. We tasted about four or five different wineries today. The whites are all in a box. And um, we're mapping out. As we taste wine, we put a waypoint on Google Maps, and we figure out where everybody is. Um, now, if we just scroll this map over to Apulia, let's see here. I love to talk. Uh, so, oh, the points aren't on here because I have to go switch. Place. So if we go to my Google Maps here, uh, let's see. Google Maps is awesome because you can save all these places. So Rome to Florence, Apulia. Here we go. 
and there's a Puglia. So these are all the waypoints in a Puglia that we plan on stopping to. Arborabello, um, Bocciomagno, the vineyard there. Uh, there's uh, Lucano, the distillery that makes, uh, that makes Amaro. Uh, all through Manduria. Uh, I have not marked the, the, the restaurant that we're eating at on the coast yet down there on the, on the, on the heel. Brindisi. Uh, the hotel in Brindisi, which is on the beach, uh, that's Canteen Pandora right there, popping up to Newt Rubino. Uh, there's the hotel. The hotel is really awesome. Um, this is on, actually, the beach, which we're staying on our next trip to Apulia. Really, really amazing hotel. Arbora Bello. All right, folks, thanks for tuning in. I've got to get to work. We'll talk to everybody later. Have a fantastic day, evening, and uh, that's it for now. Got to get back to work here and uh, taste one more wine and jump in the kitchen.